watching just a tank or a steelhead. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Chiefs here, doing a little walk in action on a stretch of river that I have never fished before. And we're gonna be crashing in the truck tonight. So I'm super excited. I got a couple hours left here to fish before it's gonna be sundown, but tomorrow's gonna be kind of the main day. I'm excited to bring you guys with me, man. So stay tuned for a new video, the first one of 2023. Let's make it a freaking banger, guys. Let's get it. Yeah, throw on the waders. We only got probably two hours of fishing before we start losing considerable daylight. So I'm gonna try to do a little scout mission right now. Maybe I can find a couple holes for tomorrow morning that we can hit bright and early. Really any fish right now is just a bonus. We're just gonna be running a light setup right now, guys. I just got a, uh, a 10 gram float and about a 14 to 15 inch liter of 10 pound that we're just gonna be snelling a uh, size six hook on for some spawn bags. So you can't deny the chartreuse spawn sack in the winter. You just simply can't. This looks freaking sick. Who's calling me? Bro, are you freaking? What's up? Dude, you mother. Dude, what the fuck? What's happening? I, I love stealing fish and everything, man, but it just, I don't know, man. It just doesn't, it just doesn't, it'll always hold spot in my, my heart, but it doesn't. That's do one. I got one. Oh, yeah. I got one. Big one, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it to go. Oh, my goodness, dude. Look real quick, guys. <sighs> I think that's all she wrote for tonight. Not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. For new water that I've never fished before, I'll take one all day. I, I am completely fine with that. All right, so tonight we're gonna be having a little peak refuel meal here. Home style chicken and rice. A little 40 grams of protein in this bag. These actually aren't too bad. When I did my float camping video last year, um, the meal turned out all right, so I thought I'd give it another chance, but we got the jet boil fired up right now. Just gotta boil a cup of water and pretty much just add it to this packet, let it sit, and we're good to go, so. Oh yeah, that took maybe two minutes. Pretty much idiot proof. If I mess this up, this is all on me. Every time I open these things, I'm just like, just looks like a freaking bag of Chex Mix, but she turns out all right. Simple enough, right? Do a little shimmy shimmy. Let's stir all up and we're gonna seal her off. Doing a little knockoff Mav camp tonight. We're not doing any crazy bed setup, but I got two pillows, a blanket, a sleeping bag, and I can fire up the truck whenever I want. That's really close. All I gotta say is I am happy I am sleeping in my truck tonight. I'm all good on that. And 
and it's dead quiet now. Let's see how she turned out here. It, it honestly, it looks like crap. White chicken, rice, vegetables with a cream. Well, maybe it's the sauce. Maybe it's the creamy sauce in there. The last one I had was pretty good. We'll give it an honest chance, all right? The last time I did this, the, the problem I had is I overdid it on the water. So it kind of made it a little soupy, but the overall consistency isn't too bad. Maybe it's just the sauce. I mean, I, I'm not sure. Oh, that ain't bad at all. Yeah, not bad. As a matter of fact, I'm going to eat the entire thing. All right, so this is the layout right here, guys. I like to use two pillows. These mummy bag setups work out all right. I think it's like a 20 degree bag. The one tip I will say, make sure that you crack like your sunroof or crack a window. If you don't, you will wake up and you're gonna feel like a hot, sticky mess. woke up in the middle of the night thinking it was already the morning because it was so bright the moon came out last night and then we got a rainstorm most fishermen i mean if we're being honest here the camping and making the cool food and all that stuff it's great and all but let's be real 95 percent of us are coming out here doing this eating like crap and fishing all day starving ourselves and neglecting things that are important good old doinks in the amish look at it, it's freaking beautiful outside This is a gnarly two track. Just need to calcify my pineal gland and we are gonna go catch some steelhead. Maybe that run right there. That looks super fishy. Touching all of my hands. Come on. That's right on bottom, dude. Oh, how did I not connect? That was a fish. Come on, freaking stick them. I know you're there. This thing will bite again, I'm telling you guys. We just drifted this like five times. Oh. What is that? There's no way that's a snack. That's fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Of course I fall in. Oh man, <laughs> let's go. Big wild blimp. Looks like she got the, the spawn bag out herself. Nice fish, nice hen. Nice quality fish. She should send off pretty well. She has some power in her too. Feels good to get the monkey off your back. Even just, like I said, just even one fish in a new spot like this beats three in a spot I've already caught them at before. It's just looks like a continuation of this deep trough that we just hit a fish out of. I just got freaking smoked.
right there. That's the money. That's a fish. Is that a, it might be a brown or it's got, it, I think it's a skipper. Little slime rocket on the white bag. Hooked right where he should be. Should kick off good. He's out. Nice, I'll take it. I'm gonna show you guys what I pack on me whenever I'm going out fishing. A lot of people keep tipping in here, like the fly guys and stuff like that, but obviously we're running bait, we're on beads, we're running all that good stuff. And I like to keep my essentials in here. So in this little tippet pouch I have right here, I think you can buy them for like 20 bucks on Sims. And I'm sure there's other ways or just baggies you can carry on you, but I keep an assortment of hooks for me anywhere from size about eight to two, depending on the time of the year. I got a bunch of different sizes of shot, some swivels, bead pegs, some of my go-to colors on my beads in a separate little pouch right here. But I really like to just keep all my hooks and all my split shot and swivels and all the terminal tackle all packed away in this little this little tippet pouch right here. And I like to just kind of stuff it in my waders and keep it in my side pocket right here. And then another thing, it goes a really long way. We're not really running flies or anything like that, but I like to keep a, uh, a fly patch on me. And the reason why I like to keep a fly patch is because I don't want to be coming out getting in my tippet pouch and pulling out a bunch of hooks and crap in, in the middle of the river. I want to keep a couple hooks on me at all times. So right here, as you guys can see, I got three size six Raven wide gape hooks right there. I keep them pegged right there because ideally when you're snagging, you should be breaking off at your hook. It's a quick fix. All you got to do is just get your leader line, tie on a quick hook, and you're ready to go. You're making the most of your time on the river. As we already have shorter days in the winter, you got to make the most of every single minute. So it's two things I'd uh, recommend to you guys if you want to just pack a little bit lighter and just be a little bit more efficient on the water. But we're charging up some gear right now. I'm kind of just doing a quick little reset, stopping off at the truck and down some coffee. Re-rigged, and we're about to go hit the next section of the river. So let's go get it. Imagine just a tanker steelhead. Oh, steely, 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 steely. <laughs> are you dude yeah heck yeah man. this is a nice one guys this is a nice fish jeez come on come on come on get in here yes Man, if you guys knew the freaking day and the miles we've put in just to get this dang fish in. This is a solid fish, check this out. He gave me a nice little air show. That is Michigan steelhead right there, baby. Look at that thing. Oh yeah. We're gonna give this a couple more drifts. Might go mess around a little bit more downstream, but that was a quality fish. There are fish in this hole right now. It's just the way that they're biting. They're being weird, and we're just really getting a reaction strike out of them more than anything. One of these fish is gonna slip up though. I think I just need to pester the living crap out of it and it'll eventually go. There it is, there it is. Yep, 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 called it. I called it, I called it. Looks pretty comparable to that last one we got. GoPro's freaking dead, of course. Story of my life. This rod is digging. Okay. This might be our shot right here. About to end it on a high note. Come on. Surf's up. Yes. Got him. About your average size. Adult steelhead for here in Michigan. Nice. I definitely say that was a successful mission, guys. Great day. If you guys made it this far into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys so much. I had to show you guys I could still get it done on the bank. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this, if any of the tips helped, or if you have any questions just in general. As always, if you guys ever wanna book a steelhead trip with me, chiefstrips.com. I might be fishing this warm up for a little bit longer, but I think I'm gonna hold things off until spring. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.